Hey guys, LJ here from LJ Films and today I want to talk about audio. As most of you guys know, I use DSLR to shoot my videos. Now, a traditional way to capture a great audio is to use a separate microphone. Now, we have a shotgun microphone right here and most of the microphone has an XLR input. To connect this XLR to the DSLR, we just don't have the option. We need to buy a separate cable which adapts XLR to a 3.5mm jack. What if I also want to monitor my audio that's being captured on my camera? I do have a headphone here, but where do we attach this jack into the camera? We just don't have the jack for that. So this concludes that DSLRs are not ideal to capture high quality sound. Now we can work it out by using a dual system sound recording by capturing a sound from a separate device such as recorder right here and to sync them in post. But if you are a documentary shooter or event shooter and to sync sound in post, it takes a lot of your time and it might be not a great choice for you. And now you might be thinking, what's the solution to capture great sound in DSLR? You don't want us to change camera. You've afforded your money for this camera and now you need to use it. Well, we have a solution for that. And what I have here, here is a product from Beach Tech. Beach Tech is a company where they produce preamps and adapters to connect to your camera to capture high quality sound on board. Now, what I mean by that, this is an adapter where it goes at the bottom of your camera and by attaching XLR inputs, you are able to transfer high quality sound to your camera without any hiss or without any AGC problems. Now let's see what comes in the box. And inside the box, first inside the box you see an instruction manual. I recommend you to read it to understand how this fully works, but in my case I haven't read it, but I was able to understand how to use it within just few days, so which means this is a device which is easy for you to use. Now, inside of that foam, we have a cable which is 3.5 male to male jack. What it does, it sends out the signal to your camera to send audio from the adapter to your camera. Next, we also have a cable which helps you to monitor your audio. We're going to talk about that more later on. And next, we have the actual Beach Tech adapter. Now, first, looking at the build quality, this is well made. I mean, this is really, really solid and this weighs half a kilo. So this does not take up a lot of your weight when you attach this to your camera. And this just feels professional on your hands. And I see these knobs and everything, but we're going to talk about that later on. Now, I'm going to talk about the ergonomics of this system. This is designed for HDSLR users, so you can attach this at the bottom of your DSLR camera. And one thing I like about this adapter is that once you attach it at the bottom of your camera, you still have the form factor of the DSLR. Now, just by looking at the model itself, it really looks professional with lots of knobs. It also provides you a Kurman thread and a wheel to help you further lock it down on your camera. Now, without further ado, I will just attach this onto my camera. Now, using the Quarman thread provided at the bottom of your camera, we just simply attach this to our beach tech. We inline the screws and we just further screw down the screw and lock it down. And what I just found out is that at the bottom of the beach tech, it's rubberized. So what happens is once you fully lock this down, there is no way that your camera is going to slip or move around. So once you lock this down, it's nice and there tight. Okay, I've attached this onto my camera. As you can see, it is just like a size of a battery grip and it, it keeps the form factor of the DSLR. That's one thing I like. Now I'm gonna discuss what are the features that it provides in this adapter. The model of this unit is DXA SLR Pro. They did actually have the DXA SLR version without the Pro one. It also provided you lots of features and preamps and AGC disabling features, but this is the Pro version, this is the newer version, and let's see what it brings us to the market. First off, this accepts a 9 volt battery. The battery does not come with the box, this is something you should purchase separately. This accepts 9 volt battery, which means you can choose alkaline or lithium. In the manual says, that if you choose a alkaline battery, it lasts you around three hours of use. And if you use lithium, it lasts you around six hours of use without the use of phantom power. As you can see, you can just simply pop it out and switch batteries on set. Now, the next thing I see is two XLR inputs. Now, this is great because you are able to adapt two separate microphones and record stereo sound, one for your left channel and one for your right channel. And one thing I like about this cable is that once you accept XLR onto this unit, it has an XLR lock port. 
which means you are able to safely remove the XLR cables. So by pushing the provided push button, you are able to release your XLR cable safely. So this is one thing that they've added and I am loving this feature. The next thing you see are the knobs and gain controls and such. But I'm just gonna quickly brief out what's really unique and what really stands out against the other preamps out in the market. First, it has an on and off switch at the right side to turn on your unit. And once you turn it on, it shows you a green light that it's on. When you turn this unit on, is you see this audio metering. This has an LED light, so you are able to see in low light situations. And having the audio metering here is really helpful because your DSLR does not have audio metering on your camera. So being able to read what signal and being able to control them through knobs, that is a really big deal when it comes to audio. Now this has a separate channel recording, left channel and the right channel. However, if you are using one microphone, you are able to choose mono, which basically makes one channel into two, so you are able to hear audio from your left and right channel. Now, the most feature it provides us is maybe the AGC disabling option. If your camera is like 60D, like the one I have here, you don't have to use AGC. However, if you have a 7D or T2i, you may be finding yourself using the AGC disabling because without the AGC, your audio just sounds terrible. Now, how does this cancel out the AGC cancellation? It's just simple. What it does is it sends out a 20 kilohertz signal tone, which humans can't hear, to the left channel. And what it does, it fools the camera into the noise ratio, which makes the AGC turning off. So it makes the noise ratio down and only captures the sound that it hears. Now it may be confusing to hear what I just said, but having this AGC really helps out your audio if you have an AGC in your camera. Beside the AGC button, you have the phantom power button. So if you are recording audio through a different microphone which needs a phantom power, you are able to give phantom power to your microphone. But take note that you're actually using the battery inside the adapter, so you may run out of battery in a quick time. So I suggest you to turn it off when you don't need the phantom power. Since we have two controls of the XLR, we also have individual controls of both XLR inputs. Now, first of all, the knobs here adjust the volume and output gain of your microphone. And on top of that, we have line input and a mic input and a mic with phantom power input. So you are able to choose which one you're recording at. And there's another feature that I really, really love the most. Now, what is that? It is the gain control. It is the high gain control. And what that does is it adds 15 dB boost to the sensitivity of your microphone. What that does is since your camera has a really bad preamp, you are able to increase the signal to noise ratio, keeping the noise at the very low floor. Now, another feature that I like is the peaking feature. What it is, is if you turn the peaking feature on, and if you actually capture an audio, and if you happen to have a clipping sound, it protects that sound. So you won't be having any distortion on your audio and it will protect that at that moment. But I wouldn't recommend you to record audio at a very high level. I recommend you to put it down, but you are able to save audio once you clip the audio. How great is that? Now that's just the basic feature that I see on this unit. Now to monitor this audio, it's simple. What you do is get an AV cable that comes with your camera for free and attach the USB port on your camera USB. And by using the cable that provided with the beach tech, you just connect the cable according to the colors. So I have a white and red, so we just connect those two. After you've connected those two, using this 3.5 millimeter jack, where we insert this is at the monitor in jack. Now once that's on there, we just grab our headphone jack and insert that to the phone jack at the back of your camera. And you also have a separate knob for your volume control of your output level, so you are able to control headphone volume right here. Now, how do you send the audio from the adapter to the camera? Just use the provided cable that it comes with it. So by adapting this into the out port and inserting that to the mic in of the camera, that's you're done. However, if you have a Nikon camera which has a really sensitive microphone input, I suggest you to use a Sescom cable which has a minus 25 dB. But for Canon DSLRs, this cable does a really great job. Now that's pretty much to it. So now I can just adapt this microphone onto my camera, insert XLR cable at the bottom of the adapter, monitor my audio, 
and simply I can just go out and shoot video running gunning style. So this is a really ideal way to shoot video such as new casting or documentary. Everything's just right on here. I have an individual um, input control. I also have a headphone control, AGC disabling, gain control, limiter control, XLR cables. It's just perfect. Now you may be wondering, I have a 60D, I have a manual audio control, I have a 5D Mark II, I can control my audio manually. But I tell you, the preamp built inside your camera, it's really, really bad. So you will hit, hear a lot of hiss. Now I'm going to show you at the end of the video some test footage which I've done with the 60D and a AGC and with the adapter on so you can see if the difference by yourself. Alright, for this test, I'm going to do three types of tests. First test, which is using the AGC microphone from the camera, which you are listening to me right now. And second test, we are going to use a shotgun microphone connected to the 60D and using the manual controls to set my control and see how that performs of the preamp built in the camera. And lastly, we're going to use the shotgun microphone attached to the beach tech connected to the camera and see how that performs. And now this is the audio of the camera with AGC. So for this test, we've connected the shotgun microphone to the camera straight and using the 60D's manual control, we are actually capturing this sound. Now I'm gonna pause for a few seconds and see how the preamp of the camera performs. As you can hear, you can hear lots of hiss. So that's how the preamp performs in the camera. Now we're gonna attach the shotgun microphone to the beach tech connected to the camera and see how that performs. So for this test, we've attached the shotgun microphone to the BeachTech adapter and in BeachTech, we've set the high gain 15 dB boost to increase the signal to noise ratio. And when that's connected to the camera, we've set the camera into manual control to capture high quality sound. And now I'm gonna pause for a few seconds to see if there's any hiss going on and how the preamp performs. And as you can hear, it's really silent. My conclusion for this item is, I've never seen this out there in the market yet. This feels really professional in hand. The form factor and the ergonomics are just great and the build quality is very solid. And the feature that can disable AGC on your camera at the same time have the individual controls of high and gain and clipping options and having a separate headphone jack and monitoring option, there's nothing that can beat this out in the market yet. This is the best adapter I've ever seen. So this is something that I recommend to all filmmakers out there shooting with DSLRs. Now, if you're interested to pick this item up, you can head over to beachtech.com. They also have other adapters for your camera, so check it out by yourself. So thank you guys so much for watching this review. You can find more contests on my website, and make sure to follow me on Twitter and like me on Facebook. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.